William Penn men's basketball was on the menu Wednesday night as the six ranked statesmen faced off against Graceland, which was 12 and 7 and 7 4 in the Hart Conference. The statesmen came into the game with a 17 and 2 record with 10 and 1 in the Hart and hoped to stay ranked in the top 10 entering the second half of conference play. Early in the first half, and Stephen Roundtree dishes the ball to junior Jarvis Haywood at the top of the key. Haywood's shot gives Penn the lead. Later in the half, it's Roundtree and Haywood hooking up again. This time, Haywood catches and shoots from behind the arc, and it's three more points on the board for Penn. Still in the same half, the singer Jesse Purnell inbounds the ball to Roundtree, who sinks the mid-range jumper. The shot puts Penn up 15-3. Next, statesman DeAndre Alexander is coming down the court with a full head of steam and finds a wide-open Haywood for three. Haywood finished the night with five threes and 19 points. However, Graceland is not going down without a fight. The Yellow Jackets' Jeff Amazon draws a little contact and puts the ball in the basket, making the score 23-10. Still in the first half, and Amazon finds an open Isaiah Johnson from behind the arc, and he drains it. Pinnell comes down flying down the court and gives the ball to Alexander, who gets stuck on the baseline, gets the outlet pass to singer Charles Knowles, putting Pin up 31-13. Right before halftime, Graceland's Carl Martin shakes Purnell out of his shoes and gives a no-look pass to David Shepard for two. Graceland goes into the half down 51-23. Entering the second half, and things didn't get any easier for the visitors as Penn's Brady Burford got his chance to shine and drops the mid-range jumper. And to add insult to injury, singer Shane Bozick passes the ball to Burford who thundered down the court and puts a nail in the coffin. Burford finished the night with 14. Penn clinches an easy 92-47 home win over a conference rival to keep the statesman in the driver's seat in the hard conference. CRI caught up with Coach Henry after the game. In my 15 years here, I can't ever remember throttling a conference opponent like we just did. Um, and quite honestly, we weren't hitting on all cylinders. No. Andre Alexander was broke. Um, we had a couple other guys struggle just a little bit, but their team effort was there, and they, and they were playing some defense. We played some defense at Benedictine, and we did tonight. And if we can continue to do that, we're a, we're a tough out. I mean, extremely tough out. 